George Caesar. Oh, you think I can't hop a wall? Where y'all at over here? Get your cowardly jean short wearing ass over the side. Yeah, Red Sure, you didn't know this was happening today, did you? Oh, you think you a matador sweatpants back in the wood? Now get your ass over the wall. Yeah, woo! Code 45, baby. You know, y'all just an entire community of cowards, man. Get down. Yeah, you had your red boot today because I had mine. Get your wings, baby. Yeah, you know it's going to be raining horns today, did you? Yeah. Get your ass in the wind. Yeah, it looks like all you cowards can use a dip, baby. Yeah. Oh, you showing out in front of your friends and family? Sit your goofy ass down. Please subscribe. Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Dave Natch, I speak stocks. Welcome back to another episode of Sunday Stalkless. Today is Sunday, December the 12th, and in today's video, I have two plays, two plays for you to put on stock this coming week. Before I go into the plays, let me delve into Friday's recap of the markets. The Dow Jones Industrial Average closed up 0.60% on Friday at 35,971, the Dow. The Nasdaq, they closed up 0.73%, sitting at 15,630, the Nas. Apple, still making new 52-week highs. Apple closed up 2.8% at $179.45, their 52-week high, $179.63, pennies, Apple. Let's jump right into it. Stock number one, SGMA. Pay attention to this one this coming week. The stock closed up 84% on Friday at $14.94. On earnings news, record earnings. Go ahead and read the news on your own time, your own term. Their revenue increased 44% to 30,000. I'm sorry, 30.6 30 million. Okay, go ahead and read the news on your own time. This one, wait for a retracement is, if possible. This one is moving faster than the speed of sound. Let's continue. The higher day on Friday, 1515. That's their new 52 week high, 1515 SGMA. Let's get the tires. They were a market cap off. First of all, this one is in the electronic component space. And the volume on Friday, very important, 50 million compared to the average volume of 900K. Okay, let's get the tires. They wear a market cap of 64 million. They have a tiny float of 3 million. 22% of the float are held by insiders. 23% of the float are held by institution and shorts as 2% of the float. This is SGMA. Their profit margin is a positive 4%. Their operating margin is a positive 3%. Their ROA, return on asset, is a positive 2.47%. Their ROE, return on equity, is a positive 18%. Their revenue is 303 million. Their revenue per share, 71.07. .07. This is SGMA. Let's continue. Their quarterly revenue growth is up. 42% year over year. Let me say that again. Their quarterly revenue growth is up 42% year over year, okay? Their gross profit is 25 million. Their EBITDA, earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, and amortization is 13.22 million. Their net income, 11 million. Their diluted EPS is 2.60. They have a total of 3 million in cash. This is SGMA and a total of 55 million in debt. Their current ratio is sitting at 1.69. Their book value per share is 16.19. Their operating cash flow is a positive 15 million. Their leverage free cash flow is a positive 3 million SGMA. Please sit tight for stock number two to put on stock this coming week. Do remember, if you wish to open a trading account, check out my Webull link below. You'll get some free stocks. Also, minimum deposit required is $100. Pre-market hours trading starts at 4 a.m. sharp. 4 a.m. sharp with Webull. Webull only the way to go. Please hammer like. Please subscribe to the channel. Around here we find 
supernova movers early dave's play is the place to be and also please share the videos <laughs> i really appreciate all the support stock number two i want you to put in start this coming week is iaic the stock closed up 11 percent on friday sitting at four dollars and 14 pennies um this one has a nice five-day chart go ahead and uh, research the company the purpose of the stock list is for, is for you to do your due diligence on the stocks check out their historicals check out their current affairs check out their ceo very imperative and also put it on your trading platform on your watch list and wait for an opportunity to pounce okay um let's continue the volume on friday 350k compare and contrast to their average volume of 62k this one is in the it space iaic let's continue they also made new 52 week high on friday which was 426 426 let's get the tires they were a market cap of 56 million they have a low float of 7 million 50 percent of the float are held by insiders zero percent institution and uh short says a measly point one two percent of the float their profit margin is a positive four percent their operating margin a positive five percent this is iaic their roa is a positive 7.74 percent their roe is a positive 17 percent let me say that again their roe is a positive 17 percent their revenue is 16 million their revenue per share 1.32 this is iaic their quarterly revenue growth is a positive 9.60 percent year over year their gross profit is 2.2 million. Their EBITDA is 906K. Their net income, 578K. They have 4 million in total cash and 2 million in total debt. And their current ratio is sitting at 2.20. IAIC. That's all I have for you, ladies and gentlemen. Go back to your Sunday activities. Do not forget to set your notification for Dave's Play tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you tomorrow with the plays. Dave Natch, I'm out. Boom, bam. Make your next trade your best trade. Be safe. I thank you for watching. Dave Natch, I'm out.
Their new 52 week high yesterday was $175.95. Apple. There were no triple digit runners yesterday. Okay? Let's delve right into. Workout. She got rice and peas, and shelly, fish. and fish. Awesome. 